Ouchie, ew. You just punched our heart straight out of our chest and ate it. Man, I sure could go for a bite to eat. <laughs> Someone's been eating in this building, but it's not you. Hey everyone, Editor Crystal here. This is a little bit weird, I know, but I wanted to stop in real quick and let you know that there's a little bit of a weird audio at the very beginning of this video. So my webcam was actually trying to pick up audio as well as my microphone. So you might hear a bit of the fan in the background, some clicky keys on the keyboard louder than normal, and a bit of echoing in my voice. I do apologize. We do realize, luckily by chat, say thank you, uh, about 15 minutes in that this is happening and I sort the situation out and it goes back to normal. So it would be a shame. This game is so, so good and we are planning on completing the whole game all the way through across a couple of videos. We're almost there now. Um, so it would have been a shame not to upload it just for the sake of 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, it is only 15 minutes at the beginning of the video and then it goes back to normal. So I do apologize. I've learned my lesson. It won't happen again, okay? I'm sorry. Terror at Oakheart. So, you can get the demo right now over on Steam, or you can buy the full game. It's very cheap. And the graphics on this look so freaking cool. Like, I can't wait to play it. Uh, let's read the description. It only came out literally like a week ago. Uh, the renowned slasher horror films, already amazing, of the 1980s and 1990s serve as a source of inspiration for Terror at Oakheart. The community of Oakheart has been terrorized by Teddy, a masked serial killer. As the body count rises, you discover there is more going on here than just a man in a mask. Now this game, a little like, I don't know what you'd call it, a little like funny like little fact. We played a game the other day um, and I have actually already uploaded it to youtube um as the full playthrough of it well the full playthrough of the demo what was it called massacre at the mirage and if you remember it it was when they was at the the movie theater and there was a murder on the loose and we were getting picked off one by one well when we was playing that game we walked into the movie theater and there was some games in the back uh that you couldn't play but they were the old-fashioned arcade games and on one of them was terror at oakhart so this is the same dev that made that game and it was a little sneak peek at some games coming to life. Um, but I'm so excited to get stuck into this game. I love horror slash movies. Like, I just love them. Anything horror is amazing. But literally, I've watched nearly every single movie going. Um, so I'm just so excited. Like, like I said, you can get the demo right now over on Steam. Or you can just get the full game. It's not very expensive at all. It's a horror survival side scroller type puzzle game. So I think it's going to be right up our alley. Be the main game to unlock Mr. Tops, does that say? Murder Mayhem. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, enough talking, enough gabbing. I've talked way too much already. We're half an hour in and I've done nothing. Let's play Terror at Oakheart. New game. He's already looking a bit creepy. Look at that guy. I haven't actually played a side-scroller in ages. Prologue. They're feeding. What are they feeding on? Human brains? Wake up, Teddy. Wake up. It's time to get up. What's going on? We're playing a little horror game. Ew. Look at the eyeball on the bottom left. Oh, God. Are we the clown? What? Teddy, the mask is calling for you. Done it once more. Yes, I will serve. Okay, we're a clown. We are swaying a lot. Is he okay? Oh, he's very dark. Oh, what is that? Oh, God, there's so much stuff. Right, can we interact with anything? Q to see current objective. Find the base. It flashed up real quick. Find the basements. Okay, do we have any, like, menu stuff? We have an inventory. An inventorious, as we like to call it. F. Oh shit, I don't actually want to go out here yet. Wait, let's go back in there. I haven't looked around. So, obviously, we light up with our little presence everywhere. What is that blue candle thing? That's a bit creepy. Teddy looks like the clown from the game. You were right. You are the clown. The clown. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we are actually the, uh, the massacre clown. Because it is the black and white outfit. That would actually be... 
a really really cool thing to have both games kind of like related to each other that would be really cool this house needs like i don't know an upgrade it needs some decorating or something it needs some better light bulbs that's for sure but what is that meant to be is that our shower curtain how does that even happen is that blood on the sink or rust i don't know if i want to know the answer blue candle was added to inventorious okay why do i need a blue candle so we can use drop or exit do you need the toilet sitting on the toilet why was the candle inside like a little face quite cute i love, I love pixel graphics so much <laughs> look how he's walking he's so like mopey Muh. all right then i'll go to my room <laughs> it's so dark here what is all this stuff it's a bucket of something but we like puzzles here that's fine this uh your tree plants turn into just a twig it's just a stick now throw it away the paintings are in like perfect condition out to open inventory, yep, we know, we know, we know. What's in here? Ooh, are they guts on this on the stag head thing? Look at it, it's got like a little face. I don't have a cursor, so I can't point to stuff. It's like a little face on the uh, on the antlers, kinda gross. A little bit gross there. Uh I am in the inventory. Get out of the inventory. Right. Can't go forward anymore, so it must go through the door. Not that way. Oh my goodness, what is this? Some kind of rituals going on. I'm blind. Yes, 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 my costume is almost finished. I will sell so much more ice cream with this costume. What kid doesn't love a clown? Oh. What was that? <laughs> Trying to give him like a high pitched voice. It sounded like it was right outside. Ooh. Oh my god. A meteorite. <laughs> what the heck are you? Oh my god, it's alien. Oh, we're a clown. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wrong person. Oh, yes. <laughs> I can hear your thoughts now. The veil has formed into something that is acceptable in your mind. We are linked now, Teddy. And while you wear this mask, you will serve me and share my power. Let us start the great work that must be done. We're a clown with a mission. why do you still struggle your destiny won't be denied and these boards won't keep you from me you are mine teddy yes i'm sorry master i will serve retrieve your soul and destroy these planks okay well we'll do i'm on it i just need a drink so we we now have a mission we must find soul we must find saw and destroy boards. That is what clowns do, right? Oh, wait, is it the candle that you found in the bathroom? You have the blue one, just the other ones. I actually forgot I had that. <laughs> that only just happened and I already forgot. There we go. Blue candle was used. Nice, King. We solved one puzzle. Must find more candles. Here's a red one. Plushie was added to Teddy's playroom. We got the red candle. Okay, I'm getting a bit nervous, like something bad's gonna happen to get the candles. Uh, let's add the red one. Two to go. Which door did I go through? Was it the last one or that one? Oh my god, why is that? Oh, it's like a puzzle? What did that do? Did it go higher or did it just come back down? Okay. 
a feast of flesh must be offered. Mm -hmm. So that one stayed up. It didn't come back down. So maybe you've got to do it in a certain order. So I don't know what the hell that picture is meant to be. It kind of looks like a human, but not. So the arm stayed up. We've got a leg, another arm, and a head. We have to do it in a certain order, aren't we? Right, so that's obviously the wrong order. I don't know how to know which is the right order, but we can just guess. So, head. Nope. So it leaves us just with the arm. Teddy, yes, as you can see, limbs cut off are all the rage this season. Yeah. Gross limbs are in. So both the arms are raised. Arm, and then it must be leg. And then the head. Right? What's the only thing left? Ooh. Secret door! It's like a minion to the eyeball. Look at all these gruesome bloody weapons. And he's got little alphabet magnets on the fridge like a little child's. Like all innocent right next to some bloody knives. <laughs> we got the green candle. Let's go. And the purple? I'm scared that something's going to jump out at me for getting it. No, okay, so a dead end. Right, let's go. We've got them all. I can't run, I wish I could. He's too mopey to run. This guy does not run. You can tell. He's got no brush in him. Green? Purple. Yes. In we go. Ooh. Oh, we got the saw. Okay. Now I can cut the wooden boards. Was there any wooden boards in any of the other rooms? Alright, this is what we actually do need to chop. Teddy saw was used. Oh, so it's like a one-time use thing. Oh, my neck. No? We get to keep it? I don't know. What is this? Such creepy music. I'm getting nervous. This is not me moving, by the way. <laughs> Did you hear it? Teddy, the mask yearns for you. Yes, I hear it calling to me. Put the mask on, Teddy. Embrace its power and you will be rewarded. Good, very good. Now come closer. I wish to see you, Teddy. Oh my god, look at that picture. Did you see that picture of Teddy's face? Bring me that rotting flesh on the ground. I must feast. I thought that was you. Oh, that rotting flesh. <laughs> it looks like a spider's web. Feed it to me, Teddy. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> Weird. Hmm, I hope that was tasty. Although the flesh is exquisite, it cannot sustain me. Teddy, go out there and find some new victims and bring me some fresh meat. He likes saying our name a lot. He says Teddy a lot. I will serve. Flesh for the flesh god. Steam achievement. Complete the prologue chapter. Oh me, we're making moves. Chapter one. So we've just learned that we've we've become oh Teddy the terrorizer. We've become a clown. We had no choice in the matter. We are a clown. We must find flesh for the big eyeball monster. Well, tonight appears to be entirely devoted to reruns. <laughs> I know, honey, but this is one of my favorite shows. It's been a long day, so I'm going to take a shower upstairs before going to bed. Breaking news: Teddy has struck again. The partial remains of two adult individuals were found earlier tonight, keeping the residents of Oakart on edge and in constant fear. Police have released a press statement saying they have no new leads in the search for Teddy, but warn that he tends to target couples and families. A curfew has been implemented. Residents are advised to stay indoors at night and make sure all windows and doors are locked. Contact the Oakheart Police Department at once if you have any information about Teddy's location or notice any suspicious behaviour. God, that just sends a shiver up and down my spine. They need to stop that monster before he hurts anyone else. Well, don't worry about it, babe. No idiot dressed as a clown is going to hurt us. 
to hurt you as long as I'm around. Oh, Tyler is the, the strong dude, right? He's the man of the house. He's going to protect us from the clown. Sigh. <laughs> I never get it when people... When it's, I know it's not supposed to say sigh. I know you're supposed to sigh. But it always feels weird reading sigh. Just remember to do the dishes when you're done watching our show. You forgot to do it earlier. <laughs> Here are the dishes. What is she doing? <laughs> I thought she was doing something that's uh, PG-13. <gasps> Moving on. What is on the TV? Teddy Dubbies? We're clearly going to get murdered by Teddy, so now I'm nervous that a clown is going to pop up in my face any moment. F. I don't need to go down to the basement right now. Whoa, I don't want to go down to the basement ever. The basement's always where you get killed in horror slasher movies. Everybody knows that. You never go to the basement. The dishes are there for the dude. Oh yeah, to secret object. Head upstairs and take a shower. Let's go. Let's go get clean. What's this? Can't do anything with that. Huh, what a cute little bathroom. At least they have a nice shower curtain. I'm shocked that the police haven't found that maniac yet. In any case, I should check my gun case upstairs and make sure my handgun is in working order. We have a gun. So now we're the guy. Are we going to go find our girlfriend, like, uh, slashed to death in the shower? So he wants to go find his gun. Did he say it was upstairs? Is this it? No. I still don't know what that is. Kind of looks like a telephone, maybe. I think I would be super nervous if I was these two right now. The news saying that they can't find the guy and he targets couples. <laughs> um, I wouldn't be separating. Here it is. Let's see what we have here. Everything looks good here. I'll keep the key on me just in case. I better get downstairs and do those dishes or Ashley is going to kill me. <laughs> Ashley or Clown. Uh, the gun key was added to the inventory. Objectives updated. Okay, so we've got the key. Head downstairs and clean the dishes. Let's be a good boyfriend, husband, whatever we are. By the way, I like your headphones. Thank you. Yeah, he's probably going to be dating uh, Teddy now. Is this going to be Ashley or can we just like take a little peek? Are you going to be peeking on her in the shower? Tyler, stop it. <laughs> Don't be a pervert. <laughs> Fine. You just wanted a little peek. What are we doing? Oh, we're going downstairs. I wanted to make sure it was still Ashley and not the clan, to be honest. There wasn't, there wasn't any other intentions there. I wanted to make sure it was definitely still the person I was hoping it was. You never know. The clown could be anywhere. Everyone's wearing lead boots. Hmm, that's strange. I could have sworn this window was closed. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like on the typical slasher horror movies when people act kind of like really stupid. Like they'll run upstairs instead of running for the front door. Or they'll run towards the killer and stuff. Like you can tell this is following that same kind of uh, obvious scenario slasher horror movie type thing where it's like um the window's open because the killer's on the loose and he's now in your house <laughs> i'm loving it does that mean teddy's now in the house is he actually here now he washes the dishes must be a good boyfriend looks at michael menacingly <laughs> yeah in this house the dishes are my job but that's because michael cooks i hate cooking so much hate it so he cooks i clean uh, where are we actually going? Head downstairs and clean the dishes. Wait, why didn't he clean them? Didn't I press on it? I've had some air fried chicken with some chips. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds real good. Oh, here we go. Dirty dishes was used. Ooh, look at him chucking them all in there. He's a quick washer upper. All right, all done. I should grab the trash down in the basement and take it out. <laughs> this little swagger. Oh, 
Down we go. A reliable metal flashlight that can be used in an emergency. I feel like you need that right now. It's all dark down here. I can't see. What? Oh. <laughs> here we go. I did not see that. Oh, God, I'm scared. Oh, wait. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not walking. All right, let's get rid of this trash. It's going to be an emergency. We need our flashlight. <laughs> what the? Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, gruesome. Uh -oh. oh, shit. What? Did the power just go out? Mid shower. Tyler, the power's out. Tyler. Oh, Ashley. Tyler's not coming. Oh, Ashley. Crap. Where are you, Tyler? You little dick. Get up here now. Fancy being dead. It's so dark. I need to grab the flashlight in the downstairs closet. I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm scared. Oh, Teddy's on the loose. Teddy's on the loose. And he seems to enjoy gruesome killings. He literally shoved our head in the electrical box. Electrified us and then we like splattered. Am I going the right way? I can't see. Ooh, the gun box. Uh, we're going to have to find Tyler's body and get the key off of it for the gun box. It would have been easier for us if he'd left it up here so I could have grabbed it. Now I've got to get it off his body. Where am I? Oh, this is back in the living room. So we need to go down here. Oh god, I'm scared. Oh wait, no, this is the bathroom. What? Where am I? I'm, up I'm upstairs, I'm upstairs, I'm upstairs. Right, go downstairs. I got so disorientated then. Oh god, I'm scared. I'm scared. The clown's down here. This way, this way. And there. Yes. Oh, finally. Objectives updated. Find Tyler. I don't think I want to do that. Probably not a good idea. We will be traumatized forever. What the hell is going on? Where are you, Tyler? Ah! How did I oh my god. Is that his head? I have to call the police. <laughs> call the police on the phone upstairs. I knew I knew that was a phone. Checkpoint reached. Wait, can we... Wait. Is there a way where we could actually, like, lose and have to restart from a checkpoint? Does that mean we get killed before we're supposed to? Oh, God. Careful now. There may be a clown. Uh -oh. Wait, isn't the power out? How is... Wait, is the power connected to a phone line? or Because a... I know phone line is a different line. But is it all still connected to the power? Um, why aren't the police answering? Oak Heart Police Department, what's your emergency? Please, you have to get to my house. Teddy is here and he just murdered my boyfriend. Ma'am, please remain calm. I need you to tell me where you live. 1428... Where's Haven Street? You have to get here quickly. I don't know where he is. Listen to me very carefully. Find somewhere safe to hide. If you can, arm yourself. Help is on the way. <sighs> oh! <laughs> Bloody hell. I died game over? What? Was I not supposed to call the police yet? Maybe I was supposed to get the gun? Oh, man. So we can't call the police. We will die. So it's telling me to though. Wait. I need to find his body. No, but I need the key for the gun. What do I do so I don't die? Must be something. We don't have anything in our inventory. Oh, I'll press the again, Max. We need this gun. I don't have the key to open it. Yeah, I know. You need to find his body, but you won't. So what do I do? 
Wait, that wardrobe's open. I wonder if we can hide in there at some point. What am I supposed to do differently? Because I did, I did press to try and run, but it didn't even give me a chance. I think he came from downstairs. I don't get it. What if I like click it quicker? Run, run for your life! Thank you, Brad! Oh my god. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> it's just the perfect scenario for a horror film. Stupid Teddy. Keep on going, man. Oh god. When do I know if it's safe? <laughs> He's loving that saw. Um. Ooh, it's gone. Tyler's gun case is right there, but I don't have the key to it. I know. Tyler must have the key on him. I have to find it. So Tyler died in the basement. Okay, so we need to go to the basement. Find Tyler's body in there. Get the key off of him without getting killed. So we've called the police. The police are on their way. But I don't know how long they're going to take. So we need to survive. Survive and thrive. We managed to escape Teddy that time. So now I know how to do that. We need to get down in the basement and find Tyler. You're back. Oh, I thought you were like gone for good good. Um... The clown gruesomely killed Tyler by shoveling him into the electrical box and made him like splatter. So we've just called the police and they killed us. So we've had to try again and we managed to run away from him. Now we need to get the gun key. Oh god, I'm so sorry Tyler. Uh, okay, so we got the key. Retrieve the gun. We might have to hide again before we can get the gun. We need to listen. Listen carefully for clown footsteps. I'm freaking scared. How is this game scary? Like, normally when you play games that's pixely graphics, it's not normally as scary because it's cartoony, but this is like getting me a little bit. Keep your ears peeled for clown footsteps. Oh, you're just far from the router. <laughs> was it in here we need to no this bathroom we need to take in the environment for wardrobes and stuff to hide in as well where did Teddy even go we've literally just been nearly everywhere in the house are they hiding in the walls right, shh. Shh. all right you bastard come and get me <laughs> Don't say that. That's what everyone says in horror films and then they get murdered too. Oh god. <laughs> we did it! We killed the murderer! We killed Teddy! Chapter 1 and the murderer is dead. Good, bad, I'm the girl with the gun. Kill Teddy as Ashley. Ah, I wonder if there's like different scenarios that can happen. Well, it looks like the power is working again. Did you confirm the body? Is it Teddy? Is he really dead? Oh, it's him, all right. Jeez, I can't believe that young woman took him down. What a mess. Sarah took her down to the station to get a full account of what happened here. At least Oak Hart will sleep a little easier knowing that the maniac is finally dead. Do we think it's really him? Because it's only chapter one. The murderer can't be dead yet. But I guess the thing that created Teddy can probably just create another one maybe, right? One year later. And you, they're never dead, are they? You always have to shoot them one more time to confirm. Oh, Ted. He gets a big headstone right at the top of the cemetery. Oh, God. He's going to come back stronger than ever. He's coming back as the demon. <laughs> hmm, 
cool. Oh god, I feel like we're gonna need extra bullets to take this thing down. What is that? No more clowning around. Complete chapter one. Steam achievements. Uh, fake Teddy. I think there could be more than one ending. Yeah, probably. Chapter two. Teddy lives. Oh, he lives all right. He's come back as some kind of creature. A few hours later. Oak Heart Police Department. Please help me. <laughs> hey, Sarah. How's it going tonight? Oh, just another boring old night shift here in Oak Heart. What brings you in, Scoutmaster? Well, I was heading up to Camp Oak Heart to meet with the camp counsellors and give them their safety briefing before the camp opens up tomorrow. However, I discovered a huge oak tree that collapsed and blocked the bridge there. If Hadley were to meet me there, he could assist in removing it from the road. Until it's cleared, those counsellors are essentially trapped there. Today is the one year anniversary of when local resident Ashley Lawrence put an end to serial killer Teddy's terrifying reign of terror in Oak Heart. <coughs> Locals conducted a memorial service early in honour of Teddy's victims. And while the killer is dead, his crimes will not be forgotten. I can't believe it's already been a year. I know, it's insane. You know, Ashley is up at Camp Oakcart right now. She signed up to be a counsellor this year. I think it'll be good for her. That poor girl. No one should have to go through what she did. Anyway, I'll ask Hadley to head up there and help you clear that tree. Thanks, Sarah. I'll head back to my cabin. Stay safe. Sarah's about to die. I should go to find Hadley and let him know what's going on. Um, I would be careful. It is the one year anniversary of a mass murder or death. They always come back to life. Ooh, lots of doors here. We've got officers, lockers. You need to find Hadley, you should be in processing at the cells. <clears throat> yeah, clearly Teddy being treated by a bullet made of lead did not kill him nope that's what happens in uh, slasher horror movies they're never dead we all know this you always have to finish the job i need to find hadley he should be in processing at this also. yeah okay i'm going the wrong way processing Ooh, look at the armory door <laughs> cute cells Bathroom, bathroom. Can we go in the bathroom? Oh, I can. Ooh, I wonder if we can hide in one of these in a bit. Hey, Sarah, what's up? Hey, Hadley, Scoutmaster Beaver just <laughs> Beaver just stopped by and he said... Oh, what are these series activating? Uh, and said he needs help clearing the road to Camp Oakheart. I see. Eric is working on my cruise at the moment, but as soon as he is finished, I can head up there and help Beaver. Oh, by the way, Ace was looking for you. Sounds good. I'll go see him right now. JT. Head to dispatch and talk to Ace. Oh, I've got a garage. Head to dispatch and talk to Ace. Let's go. We need to remember there's a... There's a... Um, a medicine locker there just in case we need to heal someone operations would it would it be in here offices lockers aha we found it dispatch we got sheriff break room there's so many doors in this place okay hey ace you needed to see me <clears throat> now my voice is going ah sarah yes I was just on the radio with the Sheriff Russell. He needs you to grab the supply key from his office and clean the shower room. What? Why me? Where's the janitor? Apparently he's sick and can't make it in tonight. I know it stinks, but someone has to do it. Bummer. Alright, I'll get right on it. Right, grab the supply room key from the Sheriff's office. I think that office was next door to this one, I think. At least this uh, deer antlers aren't covered in guts and brains and stuff oh are they keys supply room key can i get this one i don't know what that one is but we're going to need that at some point so each level seems to be also like a little puzzle to solve um 
Like on the last one, we rang the police and right after he killed me. And it's because I had to run away right at that very moment. And then run to our boyfriend's dead body to get the key to his gun case. So then get the gun to then kill him. So sometimes we might die, but that will just give us hints on what we're actually supposed to do. And push us onto the right pathway, I think. Grab the mop and bucket from supply room. Where was the supply room? Could it be in the break room? There's another medicine cabinet in here. I need to remember this. Also, look for hiding spaces. Because we had to hide in a wardrobe on the last one. I want to make sure I'm ready to hide from this blimmin' monster. Although, he'll hear us wherever we go with these lead boots on. What is this room? Just heard something weird. Yeti plushie was added to Teddy's room. Ooh, so that must be like a little collectible on each chapter because we found one of those on the last chapter. We'll have to check out what the playroom is after. I saw it on the home screen. I don't know what it is though. I mean, it must be Teddy. Teddy's the clown, by the way. The killer clown. It must be like Teddy's, I don't know, toy room or something. Um, supply room. Maybe in the lockers? shower oh supply room key was used it wasn't even labeled it was just like a sneaky little door all right let's get this gigantic mop bucket <laughs> that's really long where have we got to clean I forgot oh shower room this way i am literally lost though oh my god why is it pitch black and who's in the shower <laughs> oh god what this? <laughs> what this? Um, damn it. I told Eric to replace the light bulbs in here. And who left all these showers on? Somebody is playing a trick on me. Oh, shit. I don't want to. I don't want to check on the showers. <sighs> One is okay. One of them is not going to be okay, is it? Oh, God. Damn it! <laughs> Ouchie! Ew! Okay, yeah, he's extra strong now. He's not human anymore. He just punched our heart straight out of our chest and ate it. Man, I sure could go for a bite to eat. <laughs> Someone's been eating in this building, but it's not you. Eating hearts. I think I'll make something to eat in the break room before Eric finishes fixing my cruiser. Sure, man, sure. Break room, where was that? Aha! Turn it! Good job I've got you lot in chat helping me out. Medicine cabinet, don't forget. Oh my gosh! Bear claws, my favourite! I better not have too much. These pants barely fit me anymore. I better just make a sandwich instead. What are bear claws? I've heard of Americans talking about them before, like some kind of food. But I don't know what it is. Like in the UK, I don't think we have anything called bear claws. I, I kind of would eat it because it sounds cool. Let's see. Lettuce, ham, cheese, some milk. What, what, why does milk come into this equation? Fuck. <laughs> oh! Oh! No, 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 no. He does some gruesome kills. Looks like break time is over. I better start working on Hadley's cruiser. Looks like we're in the garage now. Ugh, I guess we didn't get to make a sandwich. It's like a treat with an apple in it, if I remember. Weird. What is it? Is it like a sweet treat? Like a pudding? Milk. Yeah, I know. It was like making lettuce, ham, whatever, sandwich, and then wanted milk. Maybe he just wanted to drink it on the side. I literally like froze because I heard the click of the door and then I was like I wasn't sure if that's what I heard and I was about to say I think someone's come through the door and then they started running at us. I need to activate the lift and then grab my tools. Okay we can do that. Activate the car lift. Looks like a car lift over here. Now I just need my tools. 
Where might they be? We got them! There's lots of shiny stuff in here. Oh, we need all these. Okay. Do we need fuel? Yes. That should do it. I can start working on the cruiser. Do you know what? I am going to predict that the clown's going to come and crush us with the car. That's my prediction. All of the deaths have been gruesome so far and I just feel like we've lifted the car up. It's about to come back down on our head. I can feel it in my bones. Uh, I can feel it. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> Ooh, Hadley, is that you? I'm still working on the cruiser, bud. Do you mind rolling one of the tires over here? Hadley? Um. Oh damn. <laughs> We're psychic. Literally psychic. As soon as we lifted that car up, I just knew that was going to be a bad idea. What the hell was that? It sounded like an animal screaming. I think that is exactly what it actually was. I should check it out. Mm. Stupid horror movie genres. Always wanting to check stuff out that's going to get you killed, huh? I should make sure this area is clear before moving on to the next one. Oh, clear. What class is it as clear? Are we clear now? Doing this little swagger. Do I need to check all the rooms? Oh, I think I just saw blood in there. Yeah, look, on the wall. Oh, this is... Yeah, I forgot <laughs> that they died in here making a sandwich. Yep, that's blood. With the bear claws. Oh god, is that Hadley? What the hell did this to you? Oh, they ended up in the fridge. They are the sandwich now. I need to find Eric and Sarah and get to the armory now. I wonder how many guns are going to be in the armory. I'm afraid that's not going to be the only dead body you're about to find. <coughs> Keys. I need to find Sarah. I should check the locker room. Wait, wait, isn't Sarah the one that was checking on the showers? So she's dead too, right? I think it's lockers and then showers are in here, right? Yes. Uh oh. Oh, well, it's still really dark in here too. Oh no. Oh no. Sarah? <laughs> Sarah's not going to answer. Not you too. Are you feeling all alone? We actually didn't make it all the way through. Oh, we did actually. That was the end. Mop bucket's still there waiting to be used. I like scribble out one of the mirrors. Oh dear. And then who else was it? The guy in the garage is the next one. Head to armory. I think it was three dead bodies so far, wasn't it? Let's go. We haven't actually been in the armory yet. Okay, let's go. Please be full of guns. We need everything we can get. I'm guessing we're going to end up like killing them again. And then they come back alive again as something else. Because it seems like when they come back alive, it's not what it was before. It's not a clown anymore. How do I pick this up? Head to the army. I'm here. Oh, there we go. I need to grab some ammunition. Checkpoint reached. Oh god, that means something's gonna happen. That's gonna make. I'm gonna have to do something. I'm gonna make this bastard pay, is what I just said. Grab ammunition. You need more? Do I not have enough? Or do I need to use it? Right, how do I use it? This item is not useful here. Wait, what? I grabbed the ammo. Has it gone weird? There's not like a combine button. Oh shit! <laughs> so I can just shoot whenever I want. I just gave my position away, but that's okay. I've got ammunition. Do I need to leave the room? Maybe. Yeah. I need to check the garage and see if Eric is alive. Oh mate, he is not alive. I can tell you that much. He is basically tomato soup now. What's in there? 
Not the garage. Doesn't seem to be like any prisoners in this uh, police department. We're in the garage. Oh damn. He squished. Ah oh, crap. <laughs> Is that Eric? What a mess. <laughs> I think he's used to the devs. He doesn't seem very shocked now. He's like, ah, oh, just another day at work. People getting squashed by cars. Have we been in here before? I don't feel like I have. Hey, another one of those symbols. What the hell is this symbol? Oh shit, what was that? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that didn't go to plan. Mm -mm. <laughs> what was I supposed to do different? I shot, but the bullet like didn't go very far. I just went in front of me for the first one. The second one hit him, but clearly it did nothing. So... Did I accidentally aim at the floor or something? Maybe I just... Did, I don't know. I don't think I can actually choose where he aims. We'll try again. I'm going to try the same thing again. And then if that happens again, we know that it's not because I shot at the floor. It's because that's not what's meant to happen. Yeah, he used our own weapon against us. That's just unforgivable. Shooting me in the head with my own gun. What a mess. Oh, what a night. He's gonna be on his way. Why does he make the symbols then? Seems like the symbol drew him to us. Oh god, right, get ready, shoot. I, I couldn't move. So what do I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do different. Do Man, is there a clue? I'm a bit stupid. Explore the rest of the garage. Maybe there was something else in there I was supposed to get. the rest of the garage I don't really see anything else maybe we could just get in the car and leave that's what I would do get in the freaking car and get out of here but it's a slasher horror movie they never do the clever thing do you see anything flashing oh, I see it I know what we gotta do now. We gotta shoot this goddamn place up into a fireball. Propane tank. Stray bullet could cause it to explode. I better not near it if it happens. The thing is, yeah, if I shoot that from here, we're gonna be really close to it. Like, maybe from here we'll be safe? I don't know how far away. We'll have to try it. We'll have to test it out. Right, how do I know that I'm shooting that? Oh, for fuck's sake. You gotta time it just right. It didn't even do a very big explosion. It was like tiny. Right, I'm panic shooting. I've gotta wait till he gets closer, then do it. Uh, God damn it. We'll get there in the end. Yes, we've done this five million times, Ace. Let's go. I thought the explosion was gonna be really big, but um, no. It was just really small. And... I'm pretty sure in real life that probably would like blow the whole room up. Oh crap. What a mess. Right, we're gonna wait till he gets close. Yes, bitch! No, bitch. Shoot him again. 
fuck what that mean. Okay. We made progress. We did a little bit of damage. Not freaking dead. What was that thing? It looked like Teddy. How do you know what Teddy looks like? Teddy was a clown last time, right? This is not a clown. I need to get back to the dispatch room and radio the sheriff. He needs to know what's happening here. I think, yes, it's pretty important that he knows the whole fire department or police department is being picked off one by one. Where the did he go? He, like, sunk into the floor. What is he now? He's mutating with every death. Well, he's only died once, but I feel like that's what's going to happen. I need to get to the sheriff's room. Keep an eye out for him. He could pop out anywhere. We've got our gun at the ready. I can't believe that didn't even kill him. He's too strong for us now. Like, what's going to happen on the next chapters? If he starts getting stronger and stronger and we're already needing a police department's bloody shotguns and explosives, what are we going to do on the next chapter to kill him? Dispatch! Found it. Sheriff Russell, come in. Come in, Sheriff Russell. It's Ace. Oh, God. Be quick, because he's going to come and kill you. This is Sheriff Russell. Go ahead, Ace. Sheriff Russell, you have to get in here right now. They're all dead, Sheriff. Everyone. Teddy's back. He's back. <laughs> he's really back. <laughs> oh, God. He really likes killing us with our own gun. Damn. We did. Teddy. Master. Teddy, you failed me. But I have found a purpose for you. This is why I have brought you back. The mask has fused with you, allowing you to serve again. But it yearns for a new host. The girl who killed you, the mask, it calls for her. Bring her to me. The flesh here will not go to waste. My children, no, nope, use my children to infect them so they may serve as well. I will serve. Ugh. Uh, so the next chapter is going to have multiple enemies. Gary. Chapter 2 completo.